Hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you doing today, Sandra? Oh, well, I am in a in another's house, you know. <laughs> in okay. Cartagena. All right. <laughs> yeah, but well, they they have been very good people. They allow you to have your classes there. Yes, of course. Nice people there. <laughs> yes, of course. Good evening, okay. Nice. Good evening, Roberto. How are you doing today? Good. Everything is okay, teacher. Okay. You have a good day. And the rest of you, how you been doing? Good evening. Good evening, Evelyn. How are you doing today? Um, so good so far. <laughs> okay, nice. Uh, what about the rest of you? Good evening, everybody. Good evening, Joanna. How are you? Nice. Uh, I am um, tired, more or less, um, but uh, very nice. Okay, awesome. Cool to hear that. Okay. okay thank you. <laughs> thank you for being here today and congratulations. I was updating the the file with your grades and I see that most of you have finished the platform. There's just a couple of people that is still missing, but <laughs> yes, excellent job. So um it's just three classes left and we're gonna finish this module. So uh, we're going to continue with yesterday's topic. We were um, discussing on how to use the conjunctions that um, that can be used with the present perfect tense. So we're going to start from there. Let me share my screen with you. Okay. All right, so we discussed the, the different conjunctions, right, such, um, and then we said that we were going to start practicing with some of them. Let me make this clear. What is it? Okay, it's going to Okay, now. We're going to start with the speaking practice. In this case, you're going to ask uh, these questions. Are you ready to ask the questions to your classmates? Yes. Yes. Okay, let's see. Um, let's see if it's true that you're ready. I'm going to start asking. Um, Adelie, uh, how many times have you gone grocery shopping in the past week? Um, I've gone one, one time, I guess, because I didn't have enough money to spend. Okay. <laughs> So you have gone grocery shopping once in the past yeah. week. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Good. Uh, can you ask another classmate? You can uh, ask the same question or a different one from the six that we have there. Um, from, from the section B or? Uh, we're practicing section A. A, okay. Uh, let's see. Me. Hey. Evelyn. Okay. There are three. <laughs> <laughs> Which uh, one? <laughs> Liliana. Yes. <laughs> uh, Liliana. Uh -huh. uh, how, how many times have, have you clean the house um, the last week? 
Eh, Miss, aquí eh, la voy a decir, pero lo último que voy a decir, yo no sé si está correcto ocupar esa frase, pero yo lo hice así. I be cleaned the house every day. No sé si es correct eh, when, yes, that when is I correct. use every day. Yes, it's correct. Yes. Ah, es como dice eh, last week, entonces no importa que, que every day. Uh, every day in the past week, yes, it's okay. Ah, okay, okay. Or, okay. Uh, yes, it's okay, you can do it that way. Okay, por eso quise hacer la primera, porque cuando la formule, yo dije, será correcto. <laughs> yeah, no, that's okay, yes. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> okay, now it is your turn to ask a question. Okay, and for, um, let me see, Oscar Romero. Okay, Oscar, um, how many times have you made your bed in the past week? Okay, I, I made uh, my, I made my bed every day in the week. Okay. Okay, good. <laughs> now continue, Oscar. Okay, Sandra Arely Ramirez. How many times have you cooked dinner uh, in the past week? Um, uh, I have uh, cooked every day. I, I yeah. imagine. <laughs> yes. Okay, very good. Okay, now it's my turn, right? Yes. Okay. Um. To let me see who. <gasps> Candida. Candida. Mm -hmm. Um. Mm -hmm. el, are you there? Uh huh. Pero no you understand eh, exercise. Hello. Hello. <laughs> okay. Yes. Then uh, Elizabeth. Gutierrez? <gasps> to whom then? Uh, Ismael? Nobody hear me. Okay, I volunteer. I volunteer okay. to answer. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Uh, what is the question? Don uh, Andre. Well, the question is, how many times have you done laundry this? Okay. Uh, my, my answer is, I haven't done laundry this week. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's raining, it's raining. <laughs> yes, yeah, to be honest. <laughs> That means that, that everyone has done for you. Okay, thank you for <laughs> helping. <laughs> okay. okay. Okay, we understand. <laughs> okay, now for the next exercise in part B, we are going to complete the conversations using the present perfect of the verbs. Um, some verbs remember that they are regular with past participles, like for example, that we have here, we have called, called, hike, hiked, jog, jogged, try, tried. And then we have the irregular past participles that we have to memorize them because they don't follow a spelling rule. For example, the past participle of be, been, do, done, Eat, eaten, go, gone, have, had, make, made, write, written, see, seen. So we're going to complete this uh, using either we need to use the auxiliary, have, has, and the past participle of the verbs. As we have here in the examples, it's a, it's a question, right? Yes. And we need to use the verb do. So the question would be, have you done much exercise this week? So 
What about the answer? Yes, I. Yes, I, I, I have. I have already. Already. Been. 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 Uh huh. We have already been to aerobic class aerobic four class. times. Okay. So let's try to complete that in our notebook. And okay. then we're going to check answers. I'll give you a couple of minutes for you to be ready with the answers. ¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué Thank you. 
Is it done? Have you finished? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes. Okay, so we will move to the next slide so you can check your answer here. Okay, the number one was already done, so let us check number two. Number two is, is have you played any sport this month? No, I haven't had the time. How many movies have you been to this month? Actually, I haven't seen any yet. Number four, have you been to any interesting parties recently? No, I haven't gone to any parties for quite a while. Then number five, have you called any friends today? Yes, I've already made three calls. How many times have you gone out to eat this week? I eaten at fast food restaurants a couple of times. Okay, so how are your answers? Were your answers correct? Yes. Yes, yes, madam. Yes. Excellent. Do you have any question about this exercise or maybe pronunciation in any word? And let's see. Yes. No questions? Um, the chair. Uh, when they say actually, uh, what they, do they mean? Uh, actually, it's a, if we say like en realidad, or similar a decir verdad. Oh, that's nice. También se usa cuando queremos corregir um, eh, como información. Eh, for example, if I say, ah, Sandra, your, is, your, um, is your second name Elizabeth? And you say, mm, actually, it's Araceli. Ah, I know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can use to correct our um, information. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Very nice. Without being, uh, impo it, it, this is a very polite way to correct someone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Oh, well, there in the number four, uh, on section B, uh, it says, no, I haven't gone to any parties for quite a while. Uh, quite a while. Mm -hmm. It's it? like it's como por un buen rato. Ah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That will be similar. Very good. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Now, what are we going to do? We are going to ask and answer these questions about ourselves. For example, if I ask you, Ismael, are you there, Ismael? No? Okay, Evelyn Elizabeth. Have you called any friends today? Oh, I, I think that maybe you're having problems with your microphone. Uh, uh, Marjorie, uh, have you called any friends today? Um, no, I haven't. Uh, I haven't called. Okay, excellent. So what I want you to do is to ask and answer these questions in groups with your own information. Not the answer that we have here. You have to provide your own answers. Same questions, your own answers. Okay, so I'm going to create the section so you can practice. Remember that it's, uh, it's the last chance. Um, Es, es ya casi de los últimos días que van a poder practicar con sus compañeros, ¿verdad? Entonces, 
Sí, todavía les da miedo hablar que no debería ser el caso, pero pues únanse al grupo, aunque sea escuchar. Porque veo que muchos se quedan ahí. Y la verdad que veo muchos que solo, no sé si están o no están porque no ponen la cámara, cuando ya sabían desde un principio que deben de estar activas, ¿verdad? Entonces también perdemos tiempo. Yo fulanito, 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 y no está. Entonces sí. Um, aprovechen y vamos a hacer esta de Teacher. las últimas prácticas, ¿verdad? Teacher. Eh, yo, yeah. por ejemplo, soy Claudia. Yeah. Yo, por ejemplo, yo vivo y si enciendo la cámara, eh, escucho menos la clase. Ah, ok. Well, in that case, just let us know. <coughs> Sí, yo hay, a veces van manejando, entonces no pueden poner la cámara y se entiende, ¿verdad? Pero también hay quienes que no la tienen encendida, pero sí contestan. Claudia siempre contesta. <laughs> so, no worries. Teacher, eh, making a parenthesis, eh, y ayer nos puso que estábamos presentes. Sí, sí, pasé lista. <laughs> okay. Ay, que se puede la energía. Yo creo que en toda la capital casi. Sí. Sí, la última clase se me fue y tendré que reponer esa clase el viernes. Oh me arruinaron mis planes. Sorry. Yes. Una, uh, eh, excuse me. Uh, ¿Podría, por favor, poner la pantalla con las preguntas? Ok. Here it is. Thank you. Did you call any friends today? Yes. Okay. Now let's join the room.
Okay, we're gonna do the rest of you. Okay, almost everybody is getting back. I see that some of you are experiencing internet connection issues since it is raining in a lot of places, but that's the patient. <laughs> Okay, so uh, can you hear yes. me? Yes, okay, I can. Okay. Toda la vida que I think it, sorry, you're breaking off. Um I think it's the internet connection is giving us some problems now. Okay, uh, voy a repetirlo. Es difícil siempre saber cómo utilizar esa palabra. What is the word? Issues. Issues. Can you write it on the chat because uh, it's difficult to understand since uh, you're breaking chat, up. Chat, chat, aquí está. Creo que se escribe así. Algo así. Okay, ah, oh, issues. It's like uh, problemas. Mm -hmm. Problemas. Yes. So the, the, well, well, well. Uh -huh. it's like, uh, silencio, no, Smith. Ya vamos a oír el gol por ahí. Okay, it's their soccer match today, I think. <laughs> okay, so the word issues es como decir problemas, eh, inconvenientes, so, but yeah, the, in fact, the, the la palabra problem, <laughs> it's not like, um, no se usa mucho ya. It's more common to use um, issues, right? Uh, mm -hmm. If you are uh, experiencing inconvenience or, or you're having troubles with the internet um, with some specific assignments, you can say issues instead of problems. It's like a, a similar word in meaning. Mm -hmm. Teacher. But if you say problem, it's okay. Teacher, may I? Yes. Uh, because uh, I, I knew that that word means also um, asuntos, like a first. A first is similar. I like asuntos. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yes, it is. It's also uh, used uh, in that meaning. For uh, example, um, if I say I have some issues, uh, so I have to go and solve them. <laughs> yes, mm -hmm. it's like tengo algunos asuntos que atender, like uh -huh. yeah. uh, to resolve. Uh huh. Siempre que tenga que resolver algo, yeah, you can say that they, they these are issues as well. Mm -hmm. It's a yeah. good example. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, ¿qué íbamos a hacer? A chequear asistencia. <laughs> yes, uh, please do it. Because Can you... it's running here. What is running? It's, ra it's running here. Ah, uh, it's raining. It's raining, sorry. It's uh, okay. raining here. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, it's difficult. To, it's difficult because the 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 signal where it's not like very good now. It's it's here. Yeah. Repeating again, lloviendo. Raining. 
raining. Yes, raining. Raining. Uh huh. Raining. Thank you. You're welcome. Ya las palabras que se parecen y el internet que no nos está ayudando, ¿verdad? Yes. <laughs> Pero ya casi lo logramos. Adrián Ernesto. I'm here, teacher. Ana Yancy. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Candida Janet. Present, teacher. Cecilia Elizabeth. I'm here. Claudia Patricia. Yo no sé si a mí me nombró, teacher, pero aquí estoy. Soy Claudia, bien cortado, le escuché. Sí, ahorita justo la mencioné, gracias. Y sí, me acordé que ahí estaba, entonces ya iba a revisar la lista porque dije, oh, pero sí se conectó. Y como nos está metiendo y sacando el internet, ahora tengo, estoy doble chequeando por eso mismo. Pero sí, ya la mencioné, ya le puse aquí que ahí está. Eh, Diego Arturo. Diego Arturo, sí, creo que no, no está. Teacher. Hola, teacher, soy Claudia. Hola, Claudia. No sé si a mí me nombró. Sí, Claudia. Pero bien cortado, le escuché y después me sacó de la, del Zoom. Sí, ya la puse que está presente, Claudia. Yo sé que están teniendo muchos problemas, así que estamos doble chequeando. Gracias. Igual, cualquiera que tenga dudas, eh, eh, háganmelo saber para ver si de repente si estaban y no los puse. Evelyn. Gracias. Present. Evelyn Liliana. Uh, I'm here. Uh, miss is correct. Hey, am I? Am I? Mm -hmm. As for questions, if you are going to use that question, yes. Ah, okay. But in sentences, I am, or I am here. If you want to say, estoy aquí, I am here. Pero si decimos al revés, es para hacer una pregunta. Okay, thanks. Okay. Evelyn Mariela. Present. Ismael Eliseo. Present. Ok, Jerry Present. Alejandro. Thank you, Ismael. Present, Jerry. Teacher. Present, teacher. Joana Celina. Thank you. Joaquín Ramírez. Present, teacher. Jonathan Isaac. Jorge Alberto. Here. José Manuel. José Manuel. Present teacher. Okay. Judith del Carmen. Present. Liliana Margarita. Present teacher. María Susena. Present. Marjorie Vanessa. Present teacher. Nelida Rebeca. Present. Natalie Imperatriz. Present. Oscar René. Present teacher. Arely Guevara. I'm here. Roberto Adonai. Present teacher. Roberto Carlos. I'm here teacher. Romulo Edgardo. Here teacher. Sandra Araceli. Present teacher. And Jessica Areli. Teacher. Hola. Judy, Judy. Good evening. No me, nom, no me, no, no me nombro, perdón. Es Stephanie, ¿verdad? Sí. Déjeme revisar si la noté, Stephanie. Stephanie, Stephanie, Stephanie. Sí, ya me voy aquí a la puse. Uh -huh. Stephanie Roxana. Thank you. ¿Alguien más que quiera chequear? Ahora no lo veo, pero ahí estoy y estoy viendo el listado de participantes a ver si todavía están ahí, porque sé que están teniendo muchos problemas con el internet, entonces puede que algunos no se porque aquí están. <ríe> yes. Ok. 
So uh, we will continue with the conversation that we have here. Mm. Yes, I see. Okay. Yes, Jorge, por ahí lo escuché que respondió y ya lo anoté en la lista que ahí está. Okay, so let's move with the conversation. We're going to watch the video and then we're going to practice it. Just let me share my screen with you. Like, what is it? Oh, can you see the screen? Yes. 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 Okay. Thank yes, you. I see the screen. I'm going to practice it that word actually. Actually, I have. This is the topic of the conversation and then we're going to practice it. Let's listen. Hi everyone, a conversation will be listened to in order to practice present perfect and simple past at the same time. Notice how they use both tenses during this conversation. Listen and repeat. Listen and practice. I'm sorry I'm late. Have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? I can't decide. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? No, I haven't. Is it good? It's delicious. I've had it several times. Or how about Thai food? Have you ever had green curry? Actually, I have. I lived in Thailand as a teenager. I ate it a lot there. I didn't know that. How long did you live there? I lived there for two years. All right, so questions. I'm going to share in a different screen. What's the mini Moroccan food? Actually, I have. Okay, this is the conversation that you just heard in the platform. So, yes. is there any question about this? What's the meaning Moroccan food? It's like comida de Marruecos. Oh, okay. Marruecos. Yeah, that. Uh -huh. Sure. Yes. What is the meaning, teenager? The meaning of? Teenager. Finished. Teenager. Oh. And the, the Mendy. Mendy. Actually, I have. I lived in Thailand as a manager. Teenager. 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 Uh, teenager. 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 Adolescente. Mm -hmm. Teenager. Okay. Thank teenager. you. Teenager. Okay. Yes. What is the pronunciation Moroccan? Moroccan. 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 Uh -huh. Es comida Moroccan. de Marruecos o comida marroquí. Mm -hmm. Ya lo vamos a escuchar otra vez. Moroccan food. Um, Moroccan. Excellent. That's it. Excellent. Teacher, okay. what is the meaning of shoes then? The meaning of? Have you shoes in? Ah, escogido o elegido. Es el ah, okay. pasado participio de choose, que es escoger. Uh, choose. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Eh, yeah. In that, in that, Page um, 66. Exercise. Oh, no, no, no. Continue. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, in that in that uh, question, have you chosen a restaurant yet? We can say also, have you already chosen a restaurant? Yes, 
It is possible. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. Teacher, I have a question. Mm -hmm. I don't say, for example, have you ever eat Moroccan food? El ever, ¿qué función lleva ahí? Como que en español, como, ¿cómo lo interpretaríamos? Esa es la ¿Sí? pregunta. Ok, ¿has escogido eh, o ya escogiste un restaurante? ¿O aún no escoges a un restaurante? Ah, pero donde dice, I can decide. How you I ever, can decide. Ah, uh, uh, decide. Have you ever eat? ¿Alguna vez has comido con... <laughs> ¿Alguna vez has comido... Eh... Marroquí. Ajá, comida marroquí. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Ok. Gracias. Any other question? Okay, I'm going to play the conversation again so you can listen the recording. La voy a, a, a poner acá en el audio program y voy a ir pausando cuando termine la oración o pregunta. Por ejemplo, aquí yo voy a pausar hasta que vea acá el signo de interrogación para que ustedes repitan el párrafo. Luego voy a dar play otra vez para que vean esta y al terminar acá yo voy a parar la, la Grabación para que ustedes repitan. Ok. So just listen and then you okay. can repeat. Pueden dejar los micrófonos en silencio porque yo sé que hay delays con el internet. Van a sonar como unos eh, por aquí, otros por allá. So, vamos a dejar los micrófonos todos en silencio y ustedes pueden repetir en casa. Escuchen y luego repitan. Yo les voy a ir dando chance. Ok. Okay, let's begin. Well, size four, conversation. Actually, I have. Part A, listen and practice. I'm sorry I'm late. Have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? I can't decide. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? No, I haven't. Is it good? It, it's delicious. I've had it several times. Or how about Thai food? Have you ever had green curry? Actually, I have. I lived in Thailand as a teenager. I ate it a lot there. I didn't know that. How long did you live there? I lived there for two years. Okay, so... Um can you hear me? Yes, okay, sure. perfect. Yes, yes. So, um, as you can see in this conversation, and as you listen in the platform, cuando escuchamos el video en la plataforma, dice que algo peculiar en esta conversación que íbamos a notar es que se utilizan los dos tiempos. Se combina el pasado simple con el present perfect. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo hacemos esa diferencia? The pair. For the pair. ¿Cuándo usamos pasado simple y cuándo usamos present perfect? No idea. Okay, as you can see, most of the depende conversation de uh, depende de la pregunta, de lo que se esté hablando, pero para hacer como, para hacerlo simple, 
acuérdense que la función principal del present perfect es como se hablan de cosas que empezaron en el pasado o sucedieron en el pasado, pero siguen teniendo mm -hmm. algún efecto en el presente. Y el pasado simple se utiliza para hablar de cosas que ya terminaron. Periodo de tiempo en el pasado finalizado. Por ejemplo, aquí ustedes sí, eh, sí. ven que le pregunta, bueno, que si ya había aprobado el Green Curry y le dice que ya. Entonces dice, I lived in Thailand as a teenager. ¿Ya? Viví en Tailandia cuando era adolescente. Meaning that not anymore, ya no vive ahí, ¿ya? Yeah? Finished action in the past, ¿ya? Yeah? La acción ya terminó, ya no más. I ate it a lot there, lo comí mucho ahí, ¿verdad? Ya no más, ya no vive ahí. Mm -hmm. Entonces él dice, no lo sabía, ¿cuánto tiempo viviste ahí? I lived there for two years. Finish, period of time finished in the past, mm -hmm. ya no. Entonces se nos se ocupa simple past. Pero si sí. es algo que continúa en el presente, por ejemplo, uh, he vivido aquí uh, porque siete años. I have lived here for seven years. Todavía vivo mm -hmm. ahí. Mm -hmm. Present, Pero perfect. si ya, eh, ya no más, eh, I can say I lived in San Salvador. When I was younger, ¿ya? Ya no más, ya no vivo en San Salvador. I lived in San Salvador when I was younger. No more. Okay. So that was um, basically a very particular thing about this conversation. And just to make a short review. ¿Quieren que repitamos el ejercicio antes de ponerlos en grupo a practicar la conversación? No. no. Nos vamos ya en grupos. Yes. Okay. Yes. Let's practice then the conversation in groups. I'm going to create them again. Oh, it can be in the same group. Pero tengo uno que solo está de dos. Igual voy a estar pendiente porque sé que algunos los está sacando el internet para estarlos reasignando a algún grupo. No worries. Okay. How long did you live there? I lived there for two years. Very good. Okay, now uh, Joanna and me. Joanna, you want to meet Peter or Mandy? You, Peter, yes, Mandy. Okay, well, let's begin. I'm sorry I'm late. Have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? I came this this year. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? No, I haven't. Is it good? It's delicious. I had it several minutes. Oh, or how about that Thai food? Have you ever had green curry? Actually, I have. I live in Thailand as an senior. I eat it a lot there. I didn't know that. How long did you live there? I lived there for two years. Oh, good. Okay, is is my Elena Nayansi? You can change your your roles now. I'm Peter. Okay. 
Okay. I'm sorry, I'm late. Have you been here long? Ismael. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? I can't decide. How you ever ate macaron food? No, I haven't. Is it good? Hola. Hola, hola. Hola, me escuchan. I can hear you, yeah. Si quiere continuo yo. Is delicious. Leo had it several times. Or how about Thai food? Have you ever had green curry? Actually, I have. I live in Thailand as a teenager. I eat it a lot here. I didn't know that. How long did you live there? I lived there for two years. Thank you. Okay, now I will be Mandy who wants to be Peter. Uh, Sí, te cambiamos, Sandrita. Ahora empiezo yo. Okay. Okay, you begin, please. Okay. I am sorry. I am late. Have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? I can't decide. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? No, I haven't. It, it is good? It's delicious. I've had it several times. Mm -hmm. Or how about Thai food? Have you ever had green curry? Actually, I have. I lived in Thailand as a teenager. I ate it a lot there. I didn't know that. How long did you live there? I lived there for two years. Okay. okay. Thank you, Rita. Thank you very much. Solo una pregunta. Me, uh -huh. me, esta palabra, teenager, ¿se pronuncia así? Teenager. 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 Ok. Teenager. Teenager. And then the other is Moroccan food. Moroccan food. Ok. Uh -huh. Thank you, Sandrita. Ok. Very You're nice. welcome. And well, I would like to know how is your, your brother? Your brother. Uh, what is the matter? Anayansi or uh, hello? What to you, Joanna? Selena. Okay. Yeah. It, it is is getting better your your brother? I'm sorry, sorry. It's very nice. A uh, recuperation is um um mm, mm, Mucho mejor. <laughs> Much better. Thank better. you. Your uh, uh, okay. recommendation is very uh, the prior uh, on the on the guard is is necessary. Uh, yes. And if uh, if fortalece. Thank you, Sandrita. You're welcome. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what about Ismael and Anayansi? How have you been during last week? Oh, okay, thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, everybody.
Okay, so we're back again. Uh, I heard one of the groups and a couple of them. Uh, I think that you did a very nice job. There are some, a couple of complicated words, like for example, uh, teenager, mm -hmm. and the other was decide, decide. But then the rest is okay. Do you have any question before we finish today's meeting? What is the meaning several? Several times. Several times. Muchas veces. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you. Okay. Any other question before we finish? No more questions? No, no question. No okay, perfect. No Remember that we still have two classes more. We're almost done with this. And uh, I checked the platform, and uh, most of you are up to date. La mayoría ya también. Solo hay un parcito. Por favor, completen eso antes del jueves para que no vayan a tener inconvenientes. Okay? Sí, Roberto. Uh, what does it mean? Have green curry. Curry o curry, ¿cómo? Green curry. Okay. El ah, curry no. es como una, ¿qué? Una salsa, una especie, como un, a ver, no, sé, no sé, comida yeah. típica tailandesa. Uh -huh. uh, ah, yeah. ya. Yeah, es un nombre propio de comida, no lo podemos traducir. Ah, ok, gracias. Uh -huh. Ok, uh, so thank you for joining us today's section and see you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. See you. Bye. 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 B